Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. JJ Trudeau, showing the Welterweight Championship between Bruce and Mauri Vittori. I hope you guys can like it. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 19 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Marvin Vittori. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a fight. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think you're getting a kickboxing match? Or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. That right hand is on point. And he landed the right hand there.
now connects with the right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Head kick. Missed with that attempt. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He misses with the right hand. Gets hit by that kick to the body. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Still nice body. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Caught the kick. Single collar tie now. Effective punch there by Lee. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. What a head kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Final minute. Of round one. Come on, bud. You gotta win this round. I need you to take this round now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, listen, bud. You did okay that round, but I need you to avoid the ground. Let's keep this fight standing. You have a really good chance of knocking him out. 
You ready to fight? All right, here we go with round two. Good punch. Able to check that kick as well. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Plans the right hand. Just misses there with the left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, high-level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he's got that right hand. He hurt him. Big diving punch lands. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Nice hammer fist. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. And then the counter by Lee. Looking to land the right just out of range. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Visibly limping here. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Right punches there. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Able to check the high kick. Nice. Looks like it did start him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so cool. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Just missed with that right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! That was a jab! Final seconds here. Liver kick. Still on 
able to find that precise range with the high kick. Right. Stop, stop, stop. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice loop and punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice punch there. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, nice. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Pretty good right hand. here not today no it ain't happening good job understanding the transition
Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Lost that kick to the body. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, a follow-up shot that will finish the fight. How about those five minutes? So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Missing on the high kick there. Nice punch by Lee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him working at trying to shut the lip down. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. An uppercut in! in a world of trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh! Yeah. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, thunderous night kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Oh, got him. He got him. Well, he's got his back now under the neck. Oh, now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pump. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Lands with the right hand. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. 
declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champion. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 100.